Hi everyone, my name is Mark and I'm the product specialist for the Pluggable Performance Nix HDMI Streaming and Capture Card. Today, we'd like to go over the instructions for setting up your Nix Capture Card inside of OBS utilizing Windows 10. We'll go through connecting your individual source devices, initializing the properties inside of OBS, and ensuring that you have the best quality possible while streaming. The first step is connecting the Nix Capture Card to your system. Utilizing the included USB 3.0 cable, you'll plug it into the rear of the Nix Capture Card. You'll notice that it's properly connected when the green light indicates on the Capture Card. Then, you'll take the HDMI cable from the source in which you are attempting to capture, such as your Xbox, your Nintendo Switch, or your PlayStation 4, and you plug it into the in port on the front of the capture card. Then, if you'd like to, you can pass through a separate display via the out port and an HDMI cable on the capture card. Depending on the individual system that you're connecting to your Nix capture card, you may have to adjust some individual settings to ensure that you get a correct signal inside of OBS. On the Xbox One, Xbox One S, and Xbox One X, HDCP is disabled by default. On the Nintendo Switch, HDCP is disabled by default as well. With the PS4, you will need to ensure that HDCP has been disabled as it automates to being on. To disable this feature, you'll head to the Settings menu on your PS4 or your PS4 Pro, Scroll down until you see the option that says System. And then inside of System, there should be a label that says Enable HDCP. Please ensure that this box is not checked, or else you will not be able to capture the signal from the PS4 to your capture card. So now that you have your pluggable Nix HDMI streaming and capture card connected to your system, the next thing we'll want to do is add a source device inside of OBS. As you can see, there's a sources frame at the bottom left-hand side of OBS. Click the plus mark and select Video Capture Device. Then a menu will pop up allowing you to name the device. For this video, we'll just name it the Pluggable Nix HDMI Capture Card. This is the main settings and properties menu for the video capture device. We'll go through and we'll select FHD capture, and as you can see, the image is coming through in the OBS perfectly. So now we want to make sure that we have the best possible settings for ensuring that you have a great stream. The first thing we'll want to do is change the resolution and FPS type to custom. This allows us to adjust the resolution for whatever we desire. The Pluggable Nix capture card does allow you to output at 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS but we will have some users who will want to do 1280 by 720 and 60 FPS just to reduce the load while streaming. For this video, we'll select 1920 by 1080. We'll set the FPS value to 60. We'll make sure that the video format is YUY2. YUY2 is a better default image and video format, but only if you have a system that supports USB 3.0. Some systems that only support USB 2.0 will only allow you to select MJPEG. Next, we'll adjust the color space. For the Nix Capture Card, we utilize the 709 protocol. Then, depending on what your source device is captured as, for instance, on this Xbox, it may have a default or automatic setting for its coloring profile. So we'll go into the settings of the individual Xbox, We'll go to Display and Sound, and then Video Output. Inside of Video Output, we'll go over to Video Fidelity and Overscan. Inside of Video Fidelity and Overscan, you'll see a color depth mixture. The Xbox One that we are utilizing supports 36 bits and a color space of RGB or a standard or recommended setting. For now, we'll set it to standard. Then, back inside of OBS, we'll ensure that we have partial set as that is the standard and automatic setting that the Xbox One automatically picks. Then once we're completed, we'll just double check to make sure everything has been connected and correctly checked. And then we'll press OK. Now we are capturing video inside of our OBS. Now that we have properly configured the pluggable Nix HDMI capture card, 
To capture the video from our connected source, next we'll want to add audio input from the capture card. Now we'll go back to our sources frame and look for the plus mark at the bottom left hand side. Once it's clicked, we'll select audio input capture. Then we'll name our device such as pluggable Nix HDMI audio and press OK. Now we should have very simple settings here. We just need to select the correct device that corresponds with the HDMI capture card. For that, we'll make sure that it says Digital Audio Interface FHD Capture. Then we'll press OK. So now any audio being outputted via the source console is being recorded inside of OBS. Sometimes we've noticed that after adding the audio input capture source, users will experience an audio delay inside of OBS. In order to resolve this issue, we'll just head over to the individual mixer frame here inside of OBS. At the very bottom right hand side of the pluggable Nix HDMI audio, you will see a cogwheel. Click the cogwheel and select Advanced Audio Properties. Once Advanced Audio Properties has been opened, you will see a Sync and Offset. Make sure that you're properly on the right named audio input capture device and input 470. This should be the default sync value to make sure that your audio and video are synced properly. We appreciate you tuning in. Check back in for more instructional videos. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at support at pluggable.com. If you ever have a free moment, we'd love to hear about your experience with our product and support team in the form of a product review.